Of course, as a part of our society and due to many employees' foolish creation of notoriety on behalf of their corporate brands and companies, we have to take a moment to step out of our prospecting capabilities as a performer and producer within a company to talk about the immoral and illegal acts of employees. The immoral and illegal act of an employee is an employee who spouts off if they get insulted either unintentionally, which is usually the case, or intentionally by a customer in the store. An employee that spouts off out of feeling insulted by how they're treated is a foolish employee because at that moment of time they're choosing their own selfish nature over the professionalism that is required in any industry to offer consumers a little extra grace who might be having a bad day or might have interpreted correctly or misinterpreted incorrectly your attitude and behavior and receptibility to their discretionary dollars in other words their presence in your store there are many types of shoppers in America oftentimes people will do some window shopping like behavior prior to making a purchase other times people will be very directional in your store and know exactly what they're coming there for because they already did their research at home in their free time in their pajamas overnight whatever to find the best place for them to purchase from you and more but sometimes we have people that really have not understood what your store is about and they want to explore the store to make notes for their life purchases or their projects in business that gives them an idea of what you carry what brands you serve because you're serving other corporations in those moments in general because you know, we know that those things fluctuate and buyers and purchasers often will change a brand if they're not pleased with the quality or if they feel they got lied to on the prices or if they can get a better price for something else where the company can make more money in the exchange of the um, percentage difference between wholesale and retail and, and, and whatnot or distribute a cost if you see but the reality is that there are some people that might just want to walk around your store just to see what you've got and then won't buy anything at all today. What we know in the general aspect of producing business in the real world of human beings, as opposed to computers, that are totally obliterating a lot of our practicality in society, is that consumers have rights. And they have the right to buy quality products from your store. So if in general, when you're giving that guest a tour of the store, along the way that you're taking them to the actual product they want and possibly will buy more based on your tour guide capabilities. So in brief, what that means is you might say, now as you notice, as we head to the location of where what you're looking for is, I'd like to point out to you that we have a variety of vended products and here we've got our computers and here we've got our office supply paper which is pretty good deal in the community and I just want you to know that as we go and that's what I'm talking about you know but what I guess what I'm getting to is the presumption is that you know what you should do and shouldn't do in talking to a consumer regardless of what they look like regardless of what they feel like to you regardless of what they smell like and when sometimes that can be hard when you have foreigners who have really crazy ways that they produce uh, their cooking in their kitchens and have garlic smells or out of their smells or whatever or maybe you've got a gentleman who's elderly who has incontinence and doesn't know that they pissed their pants because of how the mind works at that age and stage but the reality is you have to be willing to be mature enough to recognize all the incredible relationships going on at that exact moment in time